Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey on a glorious Monday. You know how I love those Mondays. So I do have two calls today. Otherwise, I've just been doing business as usual. I'm on my way to the UPS store right now because, surprisingly, uh, my exciting package for the day was already delivered. And that is the DJI wireless microphone system. I have been toying with getting that since they first released it to all the influencers and showed them, uh, you know, and you see all those videos. And it was, you know, coming soon, new product and all that kind of stuff. And I had myself on the list at B&H. Uh, you know, I knew I was going to have to wait for a while. And then eventually I just took myself off the list and said, the hell with it, I'm not going to do it. But I'm so frustrated with the Rode Wireless Go stuff, especially this original one here being shit that I was like, screw it, I, you know, I'm just gonna get it. And it already came in today, so I'm gonna go pick it up so that I can charge it, so that after my noon call, maybe I can take it out and test it and go play. As far as plans go, I, you know, you know how Mondays are, it's always just calls and bitching about calls. So, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that as it comes. All right, I'm getting a phone call, gotta go. Okay, we're now at the testing phase. I did get the DJI wireless microphone system, and I brought it home, and I, put it on charge and went about my day. It seems to be all charged. Now getting it all set up. I have it currently on my Insta360 RS and I mean, it's got signal. It's so tiny and so light, but it feels very solid and I can dig that. Couple of things weren't very obvious, like how to hook up the hot shoe or cold shoe mount on the main receiver. As far as the rest of it all goes, it all just sort of plugs in there. Now, one thing that I'm finding is that if I want to charge any of these things, I have to take off the dead cats from the transmitters, which is kind of a pain in the ass and tells me that there's a potential for losing those things. So I'm going to have to pay attention to that. Now, they did give you a little travel bag. That's what everything was in. So there's that. But I'm not always going to be walking around with that little bag. So... Again, I kind of wish that you could charge this in the charger and close the lid anyways without having to remove all that shit. And so far, at quick glance, you can't because I did try to close the lid of the charging mechanism, whatever, the, the little box, and you couldn't do it if the dead cat was on. So you have to take the dead cat off if you're going to close the lid. Now, I suppose it'll still charge even though the lid's open, but that invites a whole other, you know, set of catastrophes that could happen. Bottom line is, it should be made so that you can close the damn lid. That way you don't have to take anything off and you won't lose it. Now, granted, again, you don't have to close the lid when you're charging, but I don't know, it just seems to me to not be very safe because if you're transporting this stuff and you're not wearing it, you can't put it in there and close the lid without taking the dead cats off. Yeah, I mean, it's all great find that it's tiny and it's very small and and it you know it comes with everything but there are limitations to that i want to know what this sounds like how's it sound does it sound good is it too loud is it cracking i have this thing pretty much exactly where i would put the road wireless go transmitter here's the other thing that is neat but not good about this dji i guess receiver and that is the touch screen okay great the touchscreen is it makes it very convenient to go through and and slide across everything and look at all the the different things that you can change to your liking. The problem with that is is that it's a touchscreen that you can go through and touch and change everything. I have already found that to be like oh shit, what is that doing? Why is the red light on this thing? Because when I was playing around with it, trying to get the little hot shoe mount onto it and mount it onto the onto the camera or whatever it scrolled through the menus and I actually turned shit on and I don't know if I turned anything off, but it basically you can go through very easily and change settings. Now I know that I can press the button and lock it and all that kind of shit, but I got to learn all that stuff. So intuitively it's like, okay, why is it locked? Why is it on, you know, like you got to play around with it and you got to figure it out. So I'm going to have to sit down with a manual and, and actually read it because this is all operator error stuff, I think. If I go through and read the manual and find that it isn't the way that I hope it is, then, then I can trash it when I come back and I do a, an actual review of this thing. But for now, it is really small. Even though it's really small, it doesn't feel cheap. 
It feels very well made. It charged. I pulled this stuff out. It immediately synced up. I didn't have to do anything to it. I did immediately go online and download the firmware updates, and that was easy. You just plug it in, drop it into the folder, unplug it, and it does shit automatically. And I went through and I was able to check that everything, both the two transmitters and the receiver, were already been updated to the newest firmware that was on the DJI site. I mean, what more can I say other than to speak and you be able to hear me clearly and it doesn't sound like shit, which I won't know until I go through and, and edit this video. Uh, but I'm being beckoned and I need to eat because I'm hungry, so I'll be back. Now we're going to give this the old whirl in the Forerunner. Perfect opportunity for me to see how this sounds in the Forerunner, since that's where I'm going to spend a lot of my time. So for now, I have the AC running not on low, but not on blast or anything. So it's hot as balls in here, but I'm going to try something. And as soon as the light changes, I'm going to put the windows down because I want to see what it sounds like in there. In my head, it sounds like too loud and obnoxious to have the windows down when I'm driving around town. I've actually never listened to it to say for sure that that's the way it goes. So, all right, let's put this down. Plus there's a jet. So I'm pretty much never gonna drive faster than this around town. I'm going in between 35 and 40 miles an hour. So, you know, you're going to get the wind whipping through the windows and you heard the seatbelt slamming against the pillar there, but that isn't going to happen all the time either. It's usually when you're going faster. Now, because I think that this is going to be too loud, I tend to be like, talk a little bit louder, thinking that that's going to make a difference. But I mean, it's right below me, so it should be fine. You know, cars are passing me, cars are passing on that side. What do you think? Is it obnoxious? Do I need to put the windows up? I mean, I'm gonna anyways, because it's like so grossly warm. Yeah, it's 89 degrees out. I didn't realize it was supposed to get that hot today. So it's 89, it's very humid, and I can definitely feel that. Now I have a call in 40 minutes, so I need to get in and out of this Trader Joe's as fast as I can. So I'm hoping there's not a bunch of slow ass people, you know, in the store, because I seriously need to just get in and get out and get back. All right, there, the windows are back up now. So uh, <clears throat> again, let me know what it sounds like. <clears throat> Here, I'll get my throat clearing, <clears throat> which always gets cut out. That's gonna be it for the moment. I'm gonna stop recording now and you know, I'll wanna get to the Trader Joe's here, get my shit and get back and we'll see what happens. I was able to put everything in here with the holder, like the, the hot shoe holder on the receiver and with the magnetic mounts on the transmitters, they all fit in here and they don't block any of the charging stuff. And it also has the two little adapters that you can connect to an Apple device or an Android device or just a USB-C device in general. Everything will charge. Close the lid, it's all good to go. 